Hey guys, it's Roberto. So uh, a quick update on the Panasonic Lumix GH5. I need to let you know of an issue. It's not a deal breaker. It's just a little annoying right now. But if you want to shoot 4K video, you cannot really utilize the 4K video that you shoot in 10 bits right now on your PC or on your Mac, editing in Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve as of the making of this video on April, like what is it, April 10th, 2017. Uh, and that is an issue for some people in terms of disrupting their workflow if they planned or if they already shot in a 10 bit uh, 4K. Now, I had some videos that I shot in uh, 24 frames per second, 10 bit 4K video, and that was a problem and it slowed down the editing because I couldn't get playback on the computer and in Premiere Pro, I couldn't load it up for editing when I imported it, it wasn't working right. Uh, the Adobe forums, people have been talking about this issue. I found a workaround. So the workaround for now is that you'd have to use proxy files. And I believe you can work this out in Final Cut Pro as well. And you'll have to edit those proxy files. Uh, you can use the GoPro Cine uh, format for that, or you could just do it in um, 1280, sorry, like um, 720p, which is uh, 1280, Etc. So it's 1280 by 720, and that will allow you to do your video editing, and then you'll just link it to the original footage and render, and then it'll transcode to the format that you want. And so that will work, but it will just drag out the process for your video editing. So that's the answer. Now, alternatively, just shoot an 8-bit like you normally would, and you'll be fine. It was nice to be able to have this option to have higher image quality. It creates larger files. It's, you know, but we just wanted the best quality we could possibly get, especially shooting 4K. But it's unfortunate that it creates unnecessary hassles and problems. Hopefully all the software will update or we'll get codecs or we'll get whatever we need. Um, I'm gonna tweet some of this out uh, at Panasonic and Adobe and Apple and see what they can do to help us out. But if you're somebody who was super excited about the GH5, still think it's a great camera, I'm still enjoying it. What I'm getting out of it is tremendous. And this video that I'm recording right now is being shot in Cine 4K at 24 frames per second. And I think that the quality probably speaks for itself at this point. But this issue is something that I think is gonna bother some people. I think it's a, still a great camera. I'm gonna be uh, giving you guys a full review. But I wanted to be upfront with you about the fact that I did run into an issue with this, not the issue that everyone's talking about. I will have an autofocus test coming out. Uh, I think that you guys can see that when you set it up, depending on what your scenario is properly, autofocus, not really an issue. See, working just fine for me. At least I think it is. I can't really see without my glasses. So I'm assuming that that's working fine. And I'm assuming that I'm in focus right now for you guys, because I see it track in my eyeballs. So should be fine. So I'll have a autofocus test coming out uh, from you know real world scenarios because I did some testing outside of the office with it. Uh, none of the scientific test, but regular uses stuff. And uh, right now, my biggest issue is it's holding up my editing. And that's why there are certain videos that uh, will take longer to get out this week. And I guess I'll just have to record new material this week to kind of push things along. So look forward to that. Anyway, uh, let me know if you guys have questions about the Panasonic Lumex GH5 in the comments. Still digging the camera, still think it's awesome. Uh, if you wanna buy one though, know what you're getting into. I'll probably do a five things you should know before you buy this camera video and drop that for you guys on Wednesday. But now you know at least one of those five things is until they fix this, no editing 10-bit video. All right, you guys, stay awesome. Check out the other stuff on the channel in the meantime. And uh, just remember, go out there and create something awesome today, even when your tech makes it more difficult than it should be. Take care.